Hi, this is Frank from Gunsim.com. How to use a ballistics app using the free Android Gunsim app. We zeroed at 100 yards, but we want to take a shot at 300 yards on a downhill slope of 20 degrees. There is a gentle breeze from left to right. Leaves are moving on the ground. At a dollar per shot, trial and error is expensive. We probably want to aim high and left, but by how much? We need to tell our ballistic app six things before we start shooting. BC, muzzle velocity, sight height, zero, pressure and temperature. BC is probably on the ammo box or look it up on the manufacturer's website. Sierra has multiple BC numbers for each bullet. The Gunsim app can work with that. Muzzle velocity you measure with a chronometer or look it up on the ammo box or look it up on the manufacturer's website. That will be for a generic barrel length. Sight height, distance from the centre of the board to the front tip or centre of the scope tube. Zero whatever distance you zeroed at. You get pressure and temperature from the weather report for your area, probably from the internet or from a meter like a Kestrel. If the pressure is for your exact location, leave altitude at zero. If the pressure is for sea level and you aren't at sea level, type in the altitude and the app will adjust the sea level pressure for your current altitude. You have to estimate the wind speed. A gentle breeze with leaves and small twigs constantly moving is about 10 miles per hour. Use a wind meter if you have one. Left to right is three o'clock. Now the range was 300 yards. There is a downhill slope of 20 degrees, so we type that in. Wind is 10 miles per hour at three o'clock. Our drop is 17 clicks, so we adjust the scope. Since the wind is changing, I'll just aim 14 inches left. Let's try it on the paid version of the simulator. The bluish circle is the point of impact. Minus 17 is up 17 clicks. I want to aim 14 inches left of the center. The target is 10 inches across. So we use the Mark 1 eyeball to estimate into the wind. Fire. We set for three in all group, but a nine inch circle at 300 yards, so we should have all the holes in target. And so we have. We have 14 inches of wind, so if the wind changed while you were shooting, you can see how you could easily miss a shot. The free app also has a range finder. If the angle is 0.8 mil here, it's 347 yards. If the angle is 0.5 mils, then it's 556. So as you can see, a ballistics app can help you out and save you money in a number of ways. And that concludes my video. Thanks for watching.